of course, fashionable theories, they've been going on for a long time, and the ancient Greeks, of course, had their fashionable theories. And here I have uh, you know, the time of Plato. Um, these were the four elements, and then they found the dodecahedron, so they had to find something else to fit in with that. And uh, I was talking about this at Princeton just at the time that there was a theory that had just come out about uh, the universe being uh, basically a dodecahedron, <laughs> which is a pure coincidence. I don't think that theory did survive, so it's not fashionable now. These are actually pictures from my book, The Road to Reality, except for the color, because, of course, they were only in, in uh, black and white. But uh, I just wanted to show the sorts of theories that were believed at one time. In fact, I hadn't realized until reading something about this theory that it's not just a, a suggestion. They were actually ideas about how you cut these various polyhedra up to put them together and make others, which had something to do with the transitions between the different elements. So it was more than just an idea. Uh, it had some kind of theoretical substance to it, I suppose. Um, of course, we don't believe these things now. And I thought I would show another picture, also from my book, uh, which is, this is something to do with string theory, you see. So that's actually going to be featured in my uh, fashion part of the talk. Uh, I, I found it sort of rather fun drawing the pictures for string theory. They were much less constrained in some ways because I hadn't the remotest idea what a D-brain looks like, so I could draw anything I like. Uh, the strings are these little things which are, have their ends on the D-brain, uh, and the being is you or me or something we're supposed to, some of us happen to sit on. D brains. I'll come to that shortly, but uh, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, um, <clears throat> well, you see, I, I'm not sure if you want to compare these two and say which is the more beautiful theory. I think I would say there's a lot more on this slide <laughs> than that one, but uh, that's not really the point of what I want to say. So let me remove this and I'll come to a brief mention of what D brains are later, but I never fully understood them myself, so, so uh, I can't say too much about them. <clears throat> but as I've suggested, um, I want to um, illustrate each of these notions well, with a particular scheme, and I should say that these are not small fish, so that uh, string theory is by no means a small fish. So uh, I shall not be afraid about suggesting that this is a, a theory which is fashionable. There's nothing wrong with it being fashionable, I should say. In fact, fashion you might regard as being an indication of the theory's uh, um, st status in the sense that since a lot of people are doing it, it must have something to be said for it. In fact, that's certainly true. I'm not trying to say that fashion is a bad thing, uh, but it's, it shouldn't be the real reason that you study a subject. What about the faith? Well, the, the fish are going to get bigger in a certain sense as we go down here. So string theory is a pretty big fish, but it's not as big as the next one. This one is quantum mechanics, no less. But quantum mechanics at all levels. It seems to me that they're, just because quantum mechanics works so superbly, and indeed it does, there's no question about that, it, it uh, explains a huge number of phenomena that uh, were simply seemed inexplicable before the theory came along. It's just, the question is, just because it works so well, and it works, it fits with nature beautifully well, there's no known experiment which tells against the subject, uh, and it's indeed a very beautiful theory. I say it even does compare with these things over here. Uh, the mathematics is, is extremely beautiful. The main trouble with it is it sort of doesn't make sense. And uh, <laughs> some people don't mind that. Uh, to me, it's uh, something that I do mind, and I'll come to that. Basically, it's not that quantum theory or quantum mechanics is a, a not a good theory. It is. There's no question about that. But the question is whether it works at all levels. So is it a theory which would apply, for example, to the universe as a whole, and things like that, or even to a person? Is that something which we should believe on the basis of experiments that we have seen uh, or does the fact that it makes no sense have some substance to it? So that's a big fish. Well, how, how can we get a bigger fish than any of these? Well, it depends on how, how, how you measure your fish, that is. Uh, 
But in a certain sense, what I'm illustrating over here is, is, a, is a, a theory which ref applies to the universe as a whole. In fact, it's uh, the theory primarily, I would say, inflationary cosmology. Uh, but not necessarily that, but to other wild cosmological schemes. Uh, in fact, this, uh, the word other here may uh, offend some people already. <laughs> because uh, um, it's a th there's quite a difference between string theory and inflationary theory, I should say. String theory, the virtue, is largely mathematical. And the strength of the subject is that it has achieved extremely great things within mathematics. There's no doubt about that. The question is whether it has anything to do with the physical world. And uh, the evidence that it has anything to do with the physical world is pretty well zero. There's no observation, really, I would think it's fair to say there's no observation in support of string theory. Uh, so its strength really comes from the theoretical side. Is it something that contains elements which really are so impelling in their theoretical structure that you believe this theory even though it doesn't have support from nature. Now, in case of inflation, it's very different because I don't think anybody would say it's a very compelling theory on the theoretical side. However, it does have, in many respects, some rather surprising support, certainly to me surprising support, and we'll come to some of these issues later on. So uh, these are the theories, and as I say, they're big fish, and I want to say something about them.